nano, by definition, um, is the length scale of about 100 times smaller than the width of your hair, and fabrication means to build. So simply the definition of the word means building very, very tiny things. The current Keck clean room has served us really well. It was built in 1992, and it was built in a time when many of the faculty interests, uh, the faculty users of the facility were building lasers, photonics, optical communication systems. Since 1992, Viterbi has grown, USC has grown, our aspirations have grown, our faculty expertise have grown, our faculty interests have grown. We really need a new nanofabrication facility in order for us to keep current with uh, research trends that exist. That enables a whole new generation of devices to be built. In my world, it's all about being able to build devices, and in order to do that, we have to have the appropriate tool set to realize what we envision our imaginations. And so having that tool set to interact at this very small scale and to build tiny devices is critical for what we do. Nanofabrication lets us build sensors that can get down to even single molecule sensitivity. By building a new class of molecular sensors, we can eavesdrop on the signals that pass between cells and that cause disease processes. This type of exploration um, is only possible when you have all the different tools at your disposal. So we're very excited about uh, a new clean room to, to go in the basement of the Michelson Convergence for Biosciences building. The vision of this particular building brings together in ways that we haven't done before, uh, scientists and engineers. We will be able to attract industry and uh, academia. Having those interactions can really help our students. We have to have facilities that enable us to do state-of-the-art research. We could go so much faster if we actually had um, a cutting-edge tool set. Having the clean room kind of as that foundation is critically important to all research and all research innovation. With the new nanofabrication center, there's no limit to what we could accomplish.